everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a couple of tips about circular polarizers. Now these are filters that you can get for the front of your lenses, which when you turn them, they polarize the light. I've done a couple of videos about this in the past, and I've shown you how if you have it in front of your computer screen, uh, because that is polarized light, you can make it totally disappear and stuff like that. So that's quite cool. Um, and what it is, is there's kind of two parts of it. One which will screw into the front of your lens, and another bit will still free float around and that's there's two bits of glass and as you turn one it does something with light and stops it coming through so this so what is it good for you're probably wondering a circular polarizer is great for enhancing saturation especially in sky shots in nature shots in landscape stuff because what happens is the light coming from let's say the sun uh, reflects off things like the sea or the water or a mirror or a window or something like that and that causes light to scatter back up the way. Now if you put this in front of you and you rotate it to the correct angle or wherever it is then you can stop the kind of glare coming up from the other way and that is part of the polarised light. So what that will mean is that the sun on a blue sky, the blue sky will become more saturated. However one thing about these things is as you can see they're pretty dark they do suck out a good amount of light. I would say it's about maybe about two stops worth of light that you're going to be losing with a, a strong circular polarizer. So if you're shooting outside, that shouldn't be a problem because you'll probably still be having a fairly fast shutter and a fairly small aperture. But if you're doing anything indoors, then oh, I best take this off because in light in this kind of room, it's pretty rubbish. So I would say only use these for outdoor stuff. Now here's the big tip, if you're using this, don't use it on a wide angle lens, actually no no, no that's like, don't use it on an ultra wide angle lens. If you go on the internet, search anywhere, the, the rough term is around about 24 millimeters, and that's on a full frame camera we're talking about here. So if you go more narrow than 24 millimeters, so let's say 30 millimeter, 50 millimeter, these things work great. But if you're going, for example, like with my uh, 16 to 35 and put that on, that's too wide. Because what's happening is you're getting light coming from over there and over there. And if this is trying to polarise light, it's not going to work. And here's an example just now. On this video here, you'll see that because I'm shooting outdoors, that only the kind of middle part of the scene is actually getting polarised. And the other thing about this, this only really works best when you're at 90 degrees from the sun. So again, if this is shooting 120 degrees on an ultra wide angle lens, and it gets its best effect at 90 degrees from where the sun is, then you don't really get that effect unless you're kind of, well, you just don't get it. You just get this weird kind of saturated effect in the middle and it looks pants. So I would say if you're going for like a 30 millimeter and a full frame body, so on a crop sensor, that'd be more like a, 20 millimeter, probably fine on a crop sensor, then if you go that narrow, it's fine, but if you go wide, it doesn't work. And now here's a little example, I'll show you in this video here. As I rotate it, you can see the saturation getting stronger or weaker. And you can also see as I rotate, so I go full from 90 to 180 to 270. I'm back round to 360 degrees towards the sun. You'll see it doesn't have any effect there. So the best effect is at 90 degrees. If you aren't using this indoors, what is it good for? Well, it's good for taking away reflections. In this bit here, you'll see that I'm shooting inside an office, and if I go towards this window in the corner and I rotate this nice and slowly, you can see that the reflections off the window are completely disappearing, which is really cool. And also, if you then point it towards the computer screen, you can see that it completely blocks out all the light coming from the computer screen. Again, I don't know how that happens. I don't know why that's polarized and other stuff isn't, but it is. It's kind of a good test to see how strong this is. My other advice is because it's got two bits of glass that rotate on each other, it's quite a thick filter. So my advice would possibly be getting a filter, a circular polarizer, which is bigger than the hole of your lens. So in other words, if your lens is a, let's say a 62 millimeter, filter thread, get a stepping ring, get a bigger circular polarizer, get a stepping ring so this goes even further wide. 
So that means you shouldn't get any vignetting caused by the edges of the filter showing up on the lens. However, that's really more just with the ultra wide angle lenses. So yeah, just leave you with that tip. These things are great for getting saturation, especially in outdoor stuff. They do take away a lot of light, so indoor stuff, not that great. It gets rid of reflections, amazingly, doesn't work so well on ultra wide angle lenses. Hope that helps. Cheers, bye bye.